Hey guys, this video is on, on the um, hub and front axle removal on uh, 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 5.2 liter V8 Magnum. Um, take off the, um, I saw a few other videos on there. Um, I had a little, ran into a little bit different trouble with it, but uh, I want to show you what I did. I did um, uh, obviously take off the tire, uh, remove the caliper, um, had a seized piston, had a seized brake caliper pistons on it is what I believe it was what it was. Had to limp it home. This is the uh, this is the rotor. As you can see, it's completely completely shot, smoking everything crazy. Um, there's the axle out right now. Here's the caliper. Got the caliper off. Uh, I think I'm going to rebuild this caliper actually because uh, this is a nice genuine um, Mopar uh, caliper. I saw the star somewhere on here, right there. Uh, which is uh, real nice, uh, pretty beefy, but um, got the pistons out. These are the plastic pistons, uh, Fenelic, I believe is what they call them. Uh, sliders, it could have been the sliders because this boot was torn as well, but uh, that might have been uh, taking some of those off. Um, I, I think it's uh, either the seized piston and the calipers that, that caused this failure or the brake line itself. It might have been some of, uh, some of all this truck's got about 160, uh, 162,000 miles on it. So um, just wanted to show you what I did. I did have the, this to help pull it out. I did not break the axle. Um, the one and 11 sixteenths, I tried at my local uh, tractor supply. They um, were sold out of the one and 11 sixteenths. I tried two different tractor supplies. They didn't have it. Um, I didn't want to spend the $25 at, uh, at the local Sears for a Craftsman one. So um, I took the three 14s off on the back of this thing. These right here. The three 14s, there's that one, there's this one, and there's this one. Um, I used it with a 12-point socket. Um, another failure, which I've been waiting to do, but uh, it didn't stop the truck, was this uh, was replacement of the uh, that front universal, which is completely shot. And onto that right now is at the same time when we repair the brakes, but I uh, just um, hobbling it along. But um, to get to, I got the three 14s off on the back, which holds the um, the bearing assembly onto the knuckle. And I was having trouble getting it off. So I did use the um, 3 8 extensions with this wedged in here. And you can see the mark right here on the frame um, where I um, used it. But that did initially get it loose. I tried like heck. I lubed it all up. I had tons of PB blasters. You can see it all there on the ground. Um, tons of rust here as well. But um, that actually, I did. was actually able to get that to move. Tried hammering it. Couldn't do anything else like that. And then I realized that I had my come along with me and there's a far tree right over there. So I uh, hooked that baby up, uh, some more weasel piss all over it, um, some wiggling here and there. Then I used a big pry bar, which was actually a jack handle. And that one right there um, worked on all three sides, either the top right here. Then I came in over here on the bottom. I came over here on this side and I kept going back and forth at the top, the bottom and over here on the side. Just, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit at a time. And um, that worked. This top bolt was still in here. When you try to get, uh, when you use the power steering against the frame with uh, one of these, it twisted up my, my extension a little bit. But um, when you do that, um, you only want to back off this bolt uh, just a little bit, probably two or three threads, maybe four threads. Just give you enough a little bit and just do that very, very sparingly because uh, uh, the power steering's got a lot of pressure on there. Uh, I hope that helps and uh, good luck to all you guys out there. Uh, hope you get your ram back on the road. Okay, bye-bye.